And we hope you're all enjoying your Christmas breakfast right now. And we got a little something else for him, right? Because speaking of having a good time, food, family, we're cooking up something delicious with this uh, this morning with the Chews. Carla Hall and Michael Simon. Hey, it is so great to be here. Happy Christmas. Last minute recipes for all. But first of all, I have to say, how do you all celebrate Christmas with your families? Um, we, my family, either my mother's family, I mean my, my mom's family, or my husband's family, we go to either Nashville or Michigan. Mm -hmm. Or two good DC. choices. Yeah, two good choices. Yeah, you know, go and so, yeah, it's great. I, I thought everyone was supposed to wear a hat. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> We didn't get the memo. <laughs> I'm in Cleveland usually for uh, Christmas time. My grandfather, who actually turns 100 this year, wow. his birthday is uh, December 16th. Mm -hmm. So we're in Cleveland celebrating his birthday and then Christmas. So I'm Wonderful. really looking forward to this year. It'll be a lot does, of fun. Does he like this? Uh, he, <laughs> no. This is this will be gone by Christmas. Okay. The real Christmas day. <laughs> Okay, so give us some last minute recipes here. So I think if you have puff pastry in your in your freezer, you yep. can you always have something last minute. So we're going to make a pinwheel and Larry, you're going to help me. Okay. So we have cream cheese here and dump in some Gruyere or whatever okay. kind of cheese you want. I got ahead of myself. Some fresh thyme, a little bit of clove and some butter. Mm -hmm. And then that gets mixed all in. Okay. And then we, we get this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So here's our puff pastry. Ta-da. Ta-da. So take half of that. Oh, or half of that, no, yeah, yeah, put it down. What you do? Half of this. Okay. Half of Swan this. <laughs> so then Laura, it's like crafting. So then you spread yeah. it. I can do that. Yeah, so you spread it, and then what you're going to do That's is big. take some kind of ham. So we have this ham, so you're going to put this down like this. And this, this. can be deli ham, it looks like. It could be deli ham, yeah. be, and this could be any kind of cheese, and then you roll this up. Oh yeah, Just this like would this. be great actually with with uh, Swiss cheese as well. Yes, mm. and then we have this is what we have, and then we slice this like this. I'm very busy still with my car. My done, oh, and wow. still going. <laughs> we put this over there. Uh, and then we have uh, we cook this for 15 to 20 minutes at 400 degrees, and this is what we have. And then we finish it. We take a little bit of honey. Ooh. Drizzle, oh, drizzle, oh, drizzle. Nice drizzle. Touch. Honey is all about the finishing. Yeah. We take a little bit of Ooh, orange yes, zest. Yes. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. And some olives, and look, you guys, you have this. You have the very sweet, simple. the salty, very simple. Mm -hmm. yeah, Whatever you have in the fridge. Look at everything. I love it. Okay. Yeah. So you see, even I can do it. Yes. Now that's the start, but we're gonna get to the main course. All right. So, Michael, we need you for this. So, so say you say you have a lot of people coming over, but you have we, a small oven. How do you combat? The, this is a very good thing. So, what you do is you want to take something and be able to make an entire dish in one pan. So we're gonna do that with we're gonna roast a pork butt, and we're gonna finish the vegetables in the pan with it, and then make a gravy in that same pan. So it's a, it's a one pan wonder. Perfect. Mm, I right. love a one pan wonder. So here, I'm gonna give you the salt, okay. and you just. Let it go. Just be aggressive, Stray. Be aggressive. Be, be. Treat, be. Treat, 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 that, treat that pork butt like a quarterback. No, good. That's fine. The chef said it was good. Yeah. This, is, this is a huge piece of meat. I'm trying to figure out if you spelled it right. So this is a large piece of meat, so you could be aggressive with the salt because you have about four or five pounds of meat. So this is the one that is already seasoned. We put this in an oven at 400 degrees. Degrees for about two hours till it gets wow. to this point. Okay. At this point, I take about 15 garlic cloves, wow. I throw them in. Ooh. A whole mess whole of red skin like potatoes, that. throw them in. Like whole. The, the whole, whole. The carrots, throw them in. An onion chopped up, throw it in. Then we give this a little bit of salt and pepper again, and it goes back in the oven for about another three hours. You want to cook. Used all you want to put more. Yeah. On oh, you go. There you go. Just on the vegetables. So what you want to do is you want to cook your pork butt till it's 195 internal temperature. That's the key. Okay. That's when it really falls apart. And then you take all the drippings, and the drippings right here. George, pour in that flour. George is making a roux like the master that he is. And then we just whisk in a little bit of stock. You could even add your favorite like bourbon to this if you wanted to jazz it up a little bit or some white wine. And then you let go. this simmer, it. and you have a beautiful gravy, which is right down here. It's really easy and really good. Yeah, and so we have we have our roasted pork, we have our vegetables, we have our gravy, and what I like to do is you also keep some buns for leftovers, oh, and you can make delicious. you can make sliders, but you get this beautiful. Carla and Michael, you know how to do it. Oh, man. <laughs> all right, when we go to commercial break, we're all going to eat, everybody. But you can see the chew at 1 p.m. Eastern right here on ABC.